I just bought this tree and truck and um, I bought it online making tree and tree is so tough that they didn't do it so professionally it should be very geometrical and it should have all the lines all the things should be correct what they created what should I do it's just occupying space in my home what to do huh It is like so heavy. <laughs> wow, I am making a very nice gift. Hurry, well, dear friends, what gift to give? For some of us, it is a struggle, isn't it? Let us find out how to give gift which makes the other person joyful. And that is from Vedas. Many times when we think of a gift, we think of things we want to get rid of. Mind things. Here is a watch I bought new but I hate it. Hmm, what to do? It is occupying so much space. Don't want to sell also or donate because it costed me money. Ha! Huh, solution! Let me present it to my friend's birthday. That way I will look like I brought a gift and plus I got rid of things I hate. Do you feel that sound like you? If not, then my humble obeisances to you, you are so selfless. Whereas for some people this might be the thought. First, what not to gift? Things which person doesn't like. Second, things which we want to get rid of ourselves. And third, things we consider is the best for the other person, not knowing his or her desire. And fourth, things which is not related to the person. Many times we want to make a surprise the person with our gifts. And we love seeing the emotions of a person who is rejoicing seeing our present and shows so much gratitude gratitude to us. We want to see him or her shout, wow, I love it, this is the thing I wanted. But many times we fall, we fail and the receiver has to try so hard not to hurt you and try showing all those artificial emotions. So what to gift? First, don't give gifts you consider bad for yourself. If you want to give a gift, try visiting a store and purchasing things like you purchase for yourself. When I go to a sari shop, I spend hours just to find the perfect color and fabric. Or if you want to give a purse or bag or jeweler, think of yourself. Will you wear it yourself? Do you like it yourself? Second. But many times the things which we love may not be the things other person wants and loves. That is why it is very important to know what other person wants. You can use one simple trick. One day bring some get small gift to her or him and hide it. And ask, please guess what gift I brought for you. And whatever she or he tells first, write it down. That is the things your friend or wife wants the most. If you want to know more about her desires, then ask her to guess again and again until you get four or five lists of gifts, gift ideas. First she will tell whatever she loves the most, then she will tell the thing she loves lesser than the first and so on. Third. Any, another way of knowing the person's desire is by being attentive in day-to-day -day conversations. Your friend may sometimes tell what she is planning to buy in the future. So if you be attentive, you can ask or notice such things. Or if you know her likings like her beloved color and shop and brand, 
then you can consider that also. Fourth, if you couldn't figure that out, then try giving something really valuable and universally usable, like real gold or silver. It may be plates, jewelry, because these things carry a value for a long run. Even if she won't wear that jewelry you gifted, she will have that gold and she will save it for years and years. Or just change the design of it according to her wish and wear it. In Shumat Bhagavatam, we find many stories when people exchange with gifts. For example, in the story of King Prithu when he was coronated. So here we read from Shumat Bhagavatam, 4th Kento, chapter, uh, chapter 15, text 14. How people gifted gifts to King Prithu. The great sage continued, My dear Vidura, Kuvera presented the king Prithu with a golden throne. The demigod Varuna presented him with an umbrella that constantly sprayed fine particles of water and was as brilliant as the moon. Text 15. The demigod of air Vayu presented King Prithu with two whisks of hair. The king of religion Dharma presented him with a flower garland which would expand his fame. So nothing is so simple. The king of heaven Indra presented him with a valuable helmet. Because he was a king, he can wear a helmet. And the superintendent of death, Yamaraj, presented him with a scepter with which to rule the world. Text 16. Lord Brahma presented King Prithu with a protective garment made of spiritual knowledge. Bharati Saraswati, the wife of Brahma, gave him a transcendental necklace. It's not some artificial necklace, but transcendental necklace. Lord Vishnu presented him with a Sudarshan disc and Lord Vishnu's wife, the goddess of fortune, gave him imperishable opulence. Text 17 Lord Shiva presented him with a sword within a shed marked with ten moons and his wife, the goddess Durga, presented him with a shield marked with one hundred moons. So every marking in Vedic scripture, yantras and all, they all are beneficial. They create auspiciousness, so it's good. The moon demigod presented him with horses made of nectar. Horses like cars and vehicles in our modern days. And the demigod Vishwakarma presented him with a very beautiful chariot. Text 18. The demigod of fire Agni presented him with a bow made of the horns of goats and cows. The sun god presented him with arrows as brilliant and sun as sunshine don't worry those days people were mostly vegetarian and the horns were taken out when the animal dies the predominating deity of Buruloka presented him with slippers full of mystic power is there such slipper nowadays the demigods from outer space brought him presentations of flowers and again and again so flowers is also an option Text 19. The demigods who always travel in outer space gave King Prithu the arts, the arts to perform dharma, dramas, sing songs, play musical instruments, and disappear at his will. So, as you see, if you can do something professionally, then you can give the courses to your friend, or just buy some courses like yoga courses, subscriptions to particular programs, so it's also a nice gift, but again, you have to know the desire of your friend. The great sages also offered him infallible blessings. Sages usually are poor materially, they don't have many things, but they are, if you don't have anything, just give some very nice words, glorifications, honors, the right. The ocean offered him a conch shell produced from the ocean. Text 20. The seas, mountains, and rivers gave him room to drive his chariot without impediments, and a Sutta, a Magadha, and a Vandi offered prayers and praises. They all presented themselves before him to perform their respective duties. So that is the way how people gift in Vedic times, 
It's from Shimon Bhagavatam. So as we see, all the gifts had very much value in them. Especially in King Prithu's story. He was a king and people gave him gifts which was required to perform his duties. So as we told, if we don't know exactly what our friend wants, we can gift him or her valuable gifts, which are universally usable and related to a person. But don't think that a woman will be happy to receive a cooker in her birthday. Cooker or household utensils may remind her of hard work, but instead if you want to gift her a gift, something which aids her in household duties, like robotic appliances which help to reduce her workload. But mostly women love things which uniquely related to themselves, like personal phones, jewelries, clothes, flowers, gift card to visit a spa or massage or some attractive places and so on. Whereas many men prefer electronic items, delicious meals or even a wife can make a special handmade items for him. What to gift? First, you can gift a gift with an option of a return bill. If person doesn't want a particular item, he or she can go and return and get a refund for it and use that money to buy something she likes. Second, or if you couldn't figure out what to give at all, gift her a gift card, which she or he will be able to use it in all the marketplaces. Third, surprising a person is amazing, but if we gift her or him the exact things she loves, then it will be more than a surprise. That, that is why I would recommend insisting a person to tell what she wants for her birthday. True, we feel humble and shy to ask for a particular gift for ourselves. Then in that case, you can request your friend to create an Amazon or Flipkart or eBay link with her desired items. Then give a chance to select what you will give among them. As a result, you will be happy that you gave the thing your friend loves and she will be ha very happy to get the thing she loves. People don't like collecting tons of gifts which are not needed for them. Most times those gifts roam around from one person into another. So if we want to make the other person happy, we shouldn't think of filling up a bag with something big or puffy. So that we look like we gifted a gift, but really try to know what the other person's desire. Sometimes some gifts may left out as hated ones. Because these days we live in very tiny apartments and people don't have extra space to keep their stuff. And many times we end up storing our stuff paying extra money. So on the place of making the other person happy, we may end up causing him or her a trouble. Because you know that in the USA, for example, to even donate some of your huge furniture or something else, you need to pay money. And many times people invite professionals to, the, to clean up their homes from extra things. That is why it is better to consider all these and try to make the other person happy. Now let's summarize. What you learned here, first you learned about four things which we should not gift. First thing is things which person doesn't like. Things which we want to get rid of ourselves. Things we consider is the best for the other person not knowing his or her desire. Things which is not related to the person. Second, you learned about four ways of finding out a best suitable gift. Give things you adore yourself. Guess what I brought a trick? Being attentive in day-to-day -day life. If you don't know 
the, what to gift than give valuable things. Third, you heard about three ways to give a gift. First, gift with a return bill. Second, gift, gift card. And third, use Amazon wishlist links. Hope this knowledge will be useful in your life. I really appreciate you for your time and attention.